Here are seven of the creepiest ghost sightings in the world. These paranormal reports will make doubters and skeptics think twice. Number 7. Anne Boleyn Anne Boleyn, second wife of Henry VIII, was sentenced to death on the 19th of May, 1536, after being accused of incest, adultery, and witchcraft. The executioner reportedly asked, where is my sword, before carrying out the sentence, in order to ease her anticipation of the fatal moment. He then decapitated her with a single blow. Many historians believe that Anne Boleyn had been wrongfully accused. Paranormal investigators suspect this to be the reason why many people have reported seeing her restless spirit at Hever Castle, Sal Church, and most frequently at the Tower of London. To some, she appears as she was while still alive, a beautiful woman in a beautiful gown. Others have reported seeing her the way she was after the execution, a headless specter holding her severed head under one of her arms. Number 6. The Grey Lady Dudley Castle is one of the most famous haunted locations in England. The Grey Lady is a strange apparition and a frequent paranormal occurrence on the castle's premises. Many believe that she is a ghost of Dorothy Beaumont. In 1645, Dorothy gave birth to a baby girl, whom she named Frances. Unfortunately, Frances only survived for a few months, and Dorothy was never able to find peace after her death. During the parliamentarian siege of the castle in 1646, Dorothy passed away. Her dying wishes were to be buried next to her daughter and that John Beaumont, her husband and deputy commander of Dudley Castle, attend her funeral. Due to certain complications brought on by the English Civil War, both of her wishes remained unfulfilled. It is said that her spirit now wanders through the castle and the surrounding area, still searching for the family she had lost. Sightings of a sad grey lady have frequently been reported by visitors. The castle organizes ghost walks in which actors and actresses are hired to portray the historical characters involved in the legend. On several occasions, at the end of the tour, members of the public would question why the castle's administration had employed two actresses to play Dorothy Beaumont. The castles denied having done so, which has led to the belief that, at times, the Grey Lady walks with the living. Other reported paranormal experiences include cold, sudden drops in temperature, followed by the sight of a bizarre blue mist. The Grey Lady's image was recently caught on camera for the first time by Dean and Amy Harper, a couple from Birmingham. The photograph, which has enticed the imagination of people around the world, shows the greyish silhouette standing in front of one of the castle's passageways. Number 5. Freddie Jackson in 1975, retired Royal Air Force officer Sir Victor Goddard published a group picture of the men who had been part of the HMS Daedalus training facility during the First World War. The picture also features a ghostly face who many believe to be that of Freddie Jackson. What is particularly unusual is that Freddie Jackson's funeral had taken place two days before the picture was taken. Most of the men present in the photograph have attested that the ghostly presence was indeed their departed brother-in-arms. It is believed that his spirit still wanted to be close to the men he had served with. Number 4. Alcatraz Prison during the time it served as a federal penitentiary, Alcatraz housed some of the most feared gangsters, bank robbers, and murderers in the history of the United States. Among lesser-known inmates, there were also famous criminal figures such as Al Capone, Alvin Karpis, and Machine Gun Kelly. For a long time, Alcatraz has had the reputation of being haunted. In the 1940s, a prisoner from cell 14D screamed throughout the night that he was being attacked by a creature with red glowing eyes. The guards ignored his screams, assuming they were part of a ploy to attempt an escape. The following day, they found that the man had been strangled to death. None of the other inmates claimed responsibility for the murder. That same day, as the prisoners were lining up, there had been reported sightings of the inmate from cell 14D. He was seen only for a few seconds before vanishing. People who visited cell blocks A and B have described hearing crying and moaning coming from the cells. In 2014, as teaching assistant Sheila Sillery Walsh was visiting Alcatraz, she caught the image of a strange spirit on camera. She said, 
When I glanced at the photo on my mobile, I saw this dark female figure in the picture. I looked at the window again and there was no one in the room. I knew straight away that the woman in the photo was a ghost. According to Walsh, the woman was dressed in a manner similar to the style in the 1930s or 40s and stared into the camera with a knowing look. Moreover, at the time the picture was taken, their audio tour featured the voice of a woman who used to visit one of the prisoners in the past. Walsh and her partner Paul Rice have made efforts to find out the identity of the woman in the picture, but none of the prison's older inmates were able to help them. Rice told a news outlet, I was really skeptical about ghosts before, but I'm a bit more of a believer now. I do think that the woman in the photo is a ghost. Number 3. The Ghost at Waverly Hills Sanitarium before the modern cure for tuberculosis was discovered, the Waverly Hills Sanitarium was a treatment facility for those stricken by the disease. The legends surrounding the sanitarium describe the use of painful treatment methods which the patients rarely survived. The facility operated between 1910 and 1961. It is said that during this time, the tunnel below it, which was initially intended for the disposal of unnecessary materials, was eventually used as a dead body chute. In order to conceal the ineffective treatment methods which were reportedly claimed the lives of more than 8,000 patients, hospital officials got rid of their bodies using the tunnel. The sightings reported by visitors and paranormal investigators include nurses, shadowy silhouettes, and suffering patients. One story in particular is centered on an incident that happened in room 502. Mary Lee was one of the nurses working at the facility. The legend says that she got pregnant after having an affair with one of the doctors. Afraid and ashamed of giving birth to a child out of wedlock, she hung herself in room 502 using the wire from one of the light bulbs. Her body reportedly remained undiscovered for a long period of time. As the years passed, reported sightings of her ghost roaming the corridors started coming in. A ghostly figure was eventually captured on camera, and many believe it is a spirit of Mary Lee. Some visitors have also claimed hearing her trembling voice urging them to get out of room 502. Number 2. The Hanging Ghost at one point in the 1950s, the Cooper family had just moved into an old house in Texas when they decided to take a picture in order to commemorate the moment. After the photograph taken by Mr. Cooper was developed, the result terrified the family. The image showed Mrs. Cooper, their two young boys with their grandma, but also something else. A figure with an indistinctive blackened out face can be seen hanging upside down in the left of the picture. The image still triggers heated debates among specialists who argue its authenticity. Some theories state that it was taken at the precise moment when a body actually fell from the ceiling. Others claim that a doll was dangled in front of the camera to make sure the boys looked into the lens. However, the family seems calm, happy, and completely undistracted by anything. This has led many to consider the presence of an actual ghost. Number 1. The Amityville Ghost Boy one of the most famous ghost sightings in recent history is connected to a picture taken inside the famous Amityville house in 1976. The picture shows a young boy with white eyes looking into the camera from a crouching position behind the staircase rail. Two years before the picture was taken, Ronald DeFeo Jr. had murdered his mother, father, his two brothers, and two sisters in the house. However, the killings took place under strange circumstances. According to the police, the weapon DeFeo used was a 35 caliber lever-action rifle. When interviewed by the police, neighbors denied having heard any gunshot sounds, even though they lived close to the house. Moreover, the six victims were found lying face down on their stomachs, and there hadn't been any signs of a struggle. During the trial, which eventually landed DeFeo six consecutive life sentences, he claimed that he had heard voices telling him to murder his family. After the horrifying incident, the house on 112 Ocean Avenue, Amityville, was put up for sale. Newlyweds George and Kathy Lutz were aware of the house's dark past, but they did not want the opportunity of owning the 4,000 square foot property to pass them by. They promptly made an offer. Shortly after moving into their new home, along with the three children Kathy had from her previous marriage, they started experiencing paranormal events. Moving objects, strange noises, and sudden cold drops in temperature were among the most common occurrences. Kathy would constantly have vivid nightmares about the murders. Missy, their youngest, began talking about Jody, her imaginary friend, who would appear to her in two different forms, as a large pig and as an angel. The priest they had called to bless their new home described his experience in the house for a documentary which was made later on. 
He said, I was sprinkling holy water and I heard a rather deep voice behind me saying get out. It seemed so directed toward me that I was really quite startled. I felt a slap at one point on the face. I felt somebody slap me and there was nobody there. The family also claimed having been possessed by strange forces which would take control of their bodies. After only 28 days, they left the house as they were no longer able to endure its horrors. The story, however, was made into successful movies, books, and documentaries. When a paranormal investigation team did a report on the Amityville house, the infamous picture of the ghost boy was taken. Find out more about fatal entities that will kill you by subscribing or clicking on one of the links below.